right bra. Uh, <laughs> and it's not funny. There's nothing funny about it. Well, I didn't know there were wrong bras, and I never said it was funny. It's just that seeing you struggle out of bed at 6 o'clock in the morning is the one joy I have from your going back to work. There it is. All those years, you used to just lie there sound asleep while I groped around in the dark by myself. I never knew if I had navy socks or brown. Hey, Jeff, are you going to be all day? I'm hurrying as fast as I can. Here, give me that. Well, uh, if you'd like to quit your job, I promise I won't say I told you so. No, no, I don't want to quit. I've been a good wife and mother for eight years, right? No, 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 I'll go along with that. Well, now I'm going to be a person. Person? Well, I always thought you were a person. All right. If you don't want to be a wife, fine. But do you have to dress like one of the guys? Oh, I love your legs. I never get to see your legs anymore. You don't do legs? that. Not unless you mean it. Well, there's one advantage if you're going back to work. What's that? We can buy one wardrobe and oh. share it. Oh! Don't take out the rubber band again, honey. Oh, did you hear that voice, girls? That voice was the sound of your mother. Remember it? Who could be a little more supportive? 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 Where do you, where do you women find words like supportive? Oh, 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 I know. It's a quiz in a magazine. And it said I wasn't supportive. In supportiveness on a scale of ten, you came out with a three. Mommy, is Daddy and Mel showing us pig? No, he's not a pig, darling. Oh, oh, the male shit. Did you hear that? That's, that's what our little girls are learning. You know, I liked it better when you took those other quizzes. Goodbye. <laughs> uh, you know, the ones that said, are you a good lover? At least I cared about those results. Oh. I scored higher, too. Well, after you, my darling. Why, thanks. Uh -huh. After you. Ah, oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. I know this sounds pretentious, but I really am trying, I think, to do something to contribute to the world. Oh, so that's why you took a job with the show business public relations firm. Well, unless you've just signed Albert Schweitzer, I hardly Forget think... it. All right, listen, you want to do something useful? Fine. Buy me some underwear. I'm all out. Honey, you're not all out. You've just left them lying all over the house. I haven't had time to pick them up. Well, who's going to take care of me? I'm part of the world, too, you know. Yeah, but so am I. And you're like the whole USA, and I'm like some small emerging nation struggling for survival. I, I, don't, I don't have time to care for you and pick up your socks, no matter what color. Would you move the car, please? Come on. Tonight. No, we're going to a cocktail party. Mm-hmm. Yes? I'll call you. Bye-bye. Oh, I forgot what a rat race this was. Ah, but they're the most famous rats in the world, and that's what makes it interesting. Listen, I want you to do this presentation that we were talking about. You know I haven't written anything for years except notes to the kids' teachers. On my last one, I only got a C-minus. Well, it'll all come back to you. I need this tomorrow. Wait, you know I'm hosting that party for you tonight, and you want this by tomorrow? I wouldn't ask you if I didn't know that you were one of the few people around here I can depend on. I told you, in six months, I expect you to be head of the TV department. Today, Hollywood. Tomorrow, Bel Air. That's your dream. 
That's not my dream. I just wanted to get back into the world, not run it. I need this tomorrow. All right, all right, all right. Hi, Pumpkin. <laughs> it's not Pumpkin, Mr. Hamilton. It's Ginger, and uh, she's not in. Oh. Wow, oh, yeah. Well, um, would you tell her to call me, please? Oh, right. Hi, Ginger. Any Bible call? Oh, yeah, your husband called. Oh, get him. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Marion called, and she wanted to know about the... Forget about Marion. Just, just get my husband. husband. Okay. Lunch now. Oh, well, would you tell him I returned his call? Uh, and would you remind him we have a party tonight? Okay. Okay. Is he in a good mood? Well. Oh. Well. Okay, thanks. Bye. Mr. Hamilton's office. Hi, any calls? Oh, hi, boys. Hey, your wife called. Oh. Well, look, at it. would you tell her that I have a meeting tonight so I won't be home for dinner? Uh, oh, uh, you have a party to go to tonight. Did you forget? No. Uh, no, no, of course I didn't forget. Uh, well, look, all right, tell her I'll, I'll meet her there at 8 o'clock after my meeting. Okay, fine. I forgot. Mrs. Hamilton's office. Hi, Jen. It's Paula. Is she in? Nope. Oh. Well, tell her that he said he'll meet her at 8. He has a meeting first. All right. Jen. Okay, bye. Bye. Jen? Huh? Do you think they're in trouble? Well. Yeah, me too. Bye. <coughs> oh, by the way, uh, in case you're interested, the home improvement loan was approved today, so we can start in the kitchen whenever you are ready. Oh, yippee! Hey, what do you mean, in case I'm interested? Oh, oh, nothing. Nothing. Listen, don't, don't pay any attention to me. You know, just like everybody else this evening. How do you do? My name is Jeff. Hi. Pardon me. Hello, hello. How are you? I'm hey, Jeff. Hey, since when are you so sensitive? Since I was called uh, the, uh, what's his name? It came with Barbara Hamilton. Oh, excuse me. Hey, that isn't fair. I mean, that, that one idiot ignored you, but that's because that's what he does to everybody who can't get him a job. I mean, you would have had a good time if you'd have mingled. Who was I supposed to mingle with? Whenever I go to your office parties, I end up talking about floating debentures, municipal bonds. I'm not that thrilled either, but I pretend. Wives are supposed to pretend. Yeah, but I'm not a wife anymore. I mean, not just a wife, anyway. I mean, that role playing that we've been doing, well, that's out. My career is just as important to me now as yours is to you. And if you want me, a, me to be a better wife, you better be one, too. I mean, you better be a better husband of a working wife. You know something? Hmm. When you're upset, hmm. you don't make any sense at all. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you going? I'm going to get some cake. We are in the midst of a very serious discussion about our marriage, and you're going to get some cake? Maybe a little ice cream, too.
Oh, sorry, honey. Do you have to wear those things at night? Hmm? Well, I can't help it if I have icky hair. My hair goes all soft if I don't set it. Good night. Good night. I didn't know you were interested. I was. So you put those things in your hair. Well, I wouldn't have put them in if I'd have known you were interested. I only exercise 20 minutes at night. You know that. Why do you exercise at 11 o'clock? Why? Because I'm too tired when I come home. And then it's time for dinner. And then it's too soon after dinner. And by then, it's 11 o'clock. Well, I wouldn't have put the curlers in if I'd have known you were interested at 11 o'clock. Are you telling me that at 11 o'clock I should have reserved 11.20? I don't know why we have to have all these arguments. After nine years of marriage, we suddenly, all of a sudden, we can't communicate. Oh, all of a sudden? What do you mean, all of a sudden? What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? We've never communicated? Well, no, I just, I don't, I don't know. I just don't know what I mean, all right? I'm out of underwear. Oh, Lord, I've had it with your underwear. I work just as hard as you do around here, and you don't see me asking you to buy me underwear. Mm -hmm. Now, there are certain things that I just don't have time for now. Oh. In case you haven't noticed, there are some changes around here. Oh, yes, yes, I have noticed. It's like having a roommate. Well, at least Elliot Werber didn't wear curlers to bed at night. Who fell asleep last night? You gonna answer that? No. Oh. Phone answering is one of the things you don't do anymore? Mm -mm. I don't do that now. Oh. Mommy, Mommy, you said I could pick the color of my room when we finished the house up. Didn't you, Mommy? Yes. She wants a room black, Mother. You can't have it black, darling. I want it black. Hello? What? I want no, it you black. must have a room black. I know I did, darling, but listen, you really like yellow. You love yellow. I want it Hello? black. Not black. It's a contractor. Don't let him push it back another month. Jeff will go bananas. I want it black. Black is beautiful. Yes. Isn't black beautiful? Not oh, that black. kind of black. Now, we're going to talk about it now later. Come on. Hey, 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 what? Now, the job they were going to do in the first has been canceled. They're going to start in our kitchen immediately. Well, they can't. Why not? Because I haven't called the painters. I haven't called anybody. Barbara. I haven't called anyone. Barbara, Barbara, you'll handle it. I don't know, honey. You can handle it. Barbara, you can handle it. I can. can't. Yes. I? I can. Yes. Thank you. Come in. Excuse me, Senora Hamilton. I have to talk with you. Not right now, Maria. I've already got enough. No, but I have to talk with you now, Senora. Okay, go ahead. I quit. What? Uh, my mother, Olympia, is very sick in Guatemala, and I have to go home to take care of her. I am sorry. I was very happy here, but I have to go. That's all right, Maria. That's oh, okay. Perdón, señor. Uh, muchísimas gracias por todo, pero me tengo que ir porque está muy enferma. Entonces, hasta la próxima vez. Adiós. She quits. She quits. I want to quit, too. Oh, fine. I'll call Marion right now and tell Not her. Not just my job. I want to quit all of it. Barbara, you're overreacting. You're underreacting. You'll find a maid. It's not that easy. We had to go through four people before we found Marie. We've got to find somebody who can coordinate the painters and the builders. 
You'll get one. I'll get, right? I still have to do all of the getting. And when and if I do get somebody, I still have to personally manage everything. You just can't get somebody who will do all of the things, things that I used, used to, to do. do. Yes, yeah. that I used to do. I used to do all of them, and now I can't do them anymore. How about you doing some of it? Me? I'm the husband. That's right. For eight years, you had a wife. All I had was a husband. I think I resent that. You need a wife. Well, so do I. That's fine. If you find one hanging around, you go ahead and hire her. I'll split the cost with you. You know, that's not such a bad idea. Maybe that's just what we ought to do. What? Hire a wife. Now then, uh, let me get this completely straight, Mrs. Um, no, Hamilton. Yes. Uh, you want a what? Well, we're calling it a wife, for lack of a better word. A wife? It's really not a regular job. We probably should have gone to a computer dating service. <laughs> 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 well, anyway, what we require is somebody who can handle a variety of things. Well, well perhaps you should name them. Well, let's see. We have two children. Oh, well, in that case, you want a nanny. No, I work, and so we need somebody who can cook all three meals. Oh, then what you need is a cooking nanny. <laughs> well, no, not exactly. We're also remodeling our house, and we need somebody who can supervise all of that. Oh, well, then what you really need is a couple. Yes, a man and a wife. No, we can't afford a couple. What we really want is one person who will just become a part of the family, you know? No, I obviously don't know. Well, let's see. Someone who would really take care of all of us. Like, say, for example, this isn't a good example, but in Gone with the Wind, Hattie McDaniel just took over. Uh-huh. I knew it. You're from one of those radical organizations, aren't you? Well, let me it tell you... It was a very bad example. I shouldn't have even brought it up, the whole thing with, you know, Hattie and, prove you know, I... So, what we really need is a wife. Without the sex, of course. Well, now, I don't want to promise, because you could be disappointed, and I don't want to disappoint you. But I will try. I just don't want to promise. Oh, but I will promise that I'll try. I certainly will try. Thanks. Oh, uh, you did say without the sex, right? Yes. Mrs. Flanagan, are you sure that you're strong enough to handle this job? Are you sure this job won't be too much of a strain on you? Oh, Lordy, no. I like activity. <laughs> Uh, hand me that, would you please, dear? Well, you must remember that there are two little girls and that you have to take them shopping to PTA, to their lessons, that there'll be a lot of running around in this job. Well, I'm spry for my age, don't you know? You wouldn't have to have a nice hot cup of tea ready, would you, dear? Well, no, but if you'd like, I'll fix some for you if you'd like. Oh, well, that would be nice. Oh, Mrs. Flanagan, would you also like... some... Cake. Miss Noguchi, it says to hear that you have just arrived in this country, and, well, these are wonderful, wonderful references and background. How are you at details? Can you handle telephones and painters and wallpapering people and all? Well, fine. Are there any questions? You don't speak English, do you, Miss Noguchi? Of course she doesn't. And the man from the employment agency said that he can't send us any more people. Oh, what have you thought of a trained dog? Well, I have a new idea. Suppose we take out an ad in the Free Gazette. Hmm, I'd have never thought of that. Barbara, I'm just kidding. Well, I'm not. None of the other ads we've placed have worked. Wait a minute. Do you want every weirdo in town up here? Well, look, will you just read some of those ads? Read them out loud. Read them. Okay. Wanted, tall, strong, sensuous woman who enjoys posing and... Oh. Wonder if she does housework. Are you a handsome young man interested in learning all forms of... Mm. Maybe he's interested in housework. Okay, let me see those ads. Meanwhile, we still got Maria leaving in the morning, and at 10 o'clock the painters are coming, and after that all the cabinet makers are coming to rip us apart. What are we going to do? Well, maybe your mother can take over. Give me that paper. I'm going to advertise for a new husband. I'm going to take a shower. Jennifer Allen. How do you do? How do you do? I'm very pleased to meet you. 
I, uh, I think Jennifer's just the person we've been looking for. Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah, she saw the ad. Where? In the Times, so it's perfectly all right. Wonderful. <laughs> Would you excuse us for a moment, Jennifer? Mm -hmm. Jeff? Hmm? Could you come into the kitchen for just a moment? I'm going into the kitchen for just a moment. Oh, well. <laughs> As the revolutionists say, if you want to build a new kitchen, you have to destroy the old one first. Well, at least you have Jennifer to help you. Honey, you shouldn't have said all of those things to her. I haven't even met her. I, I may not like her. Oh, come on. Now, what's not to like? She has a college education. She likes children. She likes to cook. She likes interior decorating. She likes the salary, and she can start tomorrow. Well, she just wasn't exactly what I had in mind. Oh, I see. You mean you're going to let a little thing like, uh, good looks and great legs stand in the way of your making an adult, mature decision? Why couldn't one of the old fat ones have worked out? Oh, well, now, wait a minute. Now, you're the one who wanted this extra wife thing. I am perfectly willing to go back to one, one that stays at home. Okay, I'll talk to her. Mm -hmm. Hold it, hold it, hold it. A resume. Mm -hmm. She, uh, she does everything that Sky does. <laughs> I'll bet. Well, this is very good. But I'm not what you expected, am I? Uh, actually, I was. wanted Mary Worth or something like that, right? I know. But, you know, I am Mary Worth. I mean, well, what I mean is I'm not what I appear. I'm, I'm sort of a throwback to another generation. Oh. <laughs> Which one? The gold rush, I think. You know, I would have loved living in the West. You know, back in those days where you made your own bread and you made your own clothes and you tilled the soil. Have you always been this way? Uh-huh. But it's not as weird as it sounds. You see, my mother died when I was very young, and my father couldn't afford a housekeeper. So I started taking care of him and my brother as soon as I was tall enough to reach the stove. I was really very good at it. Do you know that I made straight A's in home ed? Really? Yeah. Can I, I sit here? Sure. I took two semesters to make a skirt, and then my teacher had to put on a waistband because it was driving me crazy. Got to give me a nervous breakdown. <laughs> anyway, I'm no good at it. Oh, but it's very important that you have a good self-image. Mm. I mean, that sort of thing gives you a sense of worth. Have you ever had a job? Oh, yeah, several, but I don't like to work. It makes me feel like I have too many anxieties. Ah, well, what do you call this? I mean, this is going to be like cleaning up London after the blitz. Oh, no, I'm a compulsive. Do you know that when I was in school, I was the kind of girl that would end up scrubbing some guy's floor on the first date? Listen, I don't want to pry, but... Oh, no, go ahead. I mean, after all, we're practically engaged, aren't we? Are you interested in getting married and having a family of your own? I confess, I'm taking on the rebound. I mean, actually, I was engaged. We were going to get married after he graduated. And then he decided he had to go to grad school. And after that, he had to go to Europe for a break. And then he probably would have gone in the Army. I mean, he just wasn't able to make a total commitment. Right. And why should he? I cleaned for him. I cooked his meals. I even bought his underwear. <sighs> I finally decided that the only way I could get him to marry me was to break up with him. What happened? He married the first girl he met. I see. I'm sorry. Well, you have to learn to cope with rejection. Oh, yes, but there's so many guys. My, you certainly will find somebody. I imagine so, but I just don't want to. I think it's an avoidance syndrome. What did you major in in college? Psychology. <laughs> I thought so. Hey, Jeff. <laughs> Well, how's it going? I think we've hired a wife. Good. Good. Two wives. And no dinner. <laughs> I don't see what you're worrying about. It's just too perfect, that's all. She's a young, attractive girl. She... All right, look. What is to keep her from running out on us just when we become one big, happy family? Why should she run out? For him. Who? That... White knight in shining armor. Look at I, sweetheart. I, I I spoke to her a little bit before you got here. All right. Well, she's in love with the idea of marriage. She actually believes that fairy tale of happily ever after. Well, why shouldn't she? I used to too. I mean, 
You don't have to worry, though, you know, because she told me that her boyfriend has already walked off into the sunset with somebody else. I know, I know that. But the point of it is, she could walk out on us at any time. <laughs> or in on us. I'm sorry, you guys. I couldn't help overhearing them. Let me tell you something. Uh, I'm not going to leave unless you tell me to, but if you'd like, uh, why don't we make it legal? What? Legal? What do you mean? Well, we'll, like, draw up a marriage contract, and we'll each have the opportunity to renew after a certain period of time. How's that sound? Idiotic. It sounds good. Oh, I think so. Yes, I think we should take a vote. Now, wait just one moment. All right, we'll draw up a contract. Great, great. I'll move my stuff in tomorrow so you guys won't have a chance to change your minds, because sometimes I get a little insecure. Yeah, that's super. Let's drink to that. Okay. Here's to freedom. Here's to a truly meaningful relationship. Here's to polygamy. Polygamy? Wow. Oh. think? I think the purse should go on the other side. Barbara, it's called a pouch. Pouch, pouch. Mm -hmm. Pouch, pouch. All right. There, now. How about that? I love it. Really? Sure. I've been trying to get you into this kind of stuff for well, years. Well, Whatever made you do it? Well, it was Jenny, really. She picked it out, you know, and I, I didn't want to hurt her feelings because she's a very sensitive girl. Ah. Uh -huh. Besides, you said it looked gorgeous. Mm. What about my feelings? I've tried to get you to wear these things. You always make me take them back to the store. I know. I also said you were gorgeous. Yeah, you're also my wife. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, pardon me. I... Let me see that pretty man. Well, I guess I can get rid of those shirts with the crocodiles on them. No, no, no. Those are alligators and leave them alone, please. What about the ones with the little penguins? No, no, you can leave those alone, too, because I am... Saving them for sentimental reasons. Okay, you can save them, but you can't wear them. Because it makes me feel like I'm married to a man who's been asleep since 1952. Can you do this? I don't think my body really works like that. Jeff loves this. Why? I don't know. I'm afraid to ask you. <laughs> Isn't that... Um, wait a minute. Now, oh. wait. <clears throat> Well, it sure is terrific to have somebody to talk to, let me tell you. Since I've started back to work, I haven't been able to call any of my friends or anything. Oh, hey, I enjoy it, really. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, all this. I mean, half the time you have to listen to Jeff's problems, and the other half of the time to my own. Bro. Yeah, I'm not driving you crazy. No, don't forget, I'm living vicariously through you two. It's a lot easier that way. <laughs> ah. <laughs> oh, mm -hmm. uh, Company. <laughs> well, we've Hi, just boys. Been doing a little, you know, yeah. the old one, too. <laughs> Bye. You know, the kitchen people are in there now, ripping the floor up. Uh-huh. And the upholsterers came today and took away the sofa and the couch and the chair. Yeah. So I don't know what it's going to look like. It's going to be a mess. I know, I know. Jenny must have had a terrible day. Oh, wow. Oh, Hi. Hi, Jenny. Welcome home. Oh. Thank you. This is just beautiful. You must have done one fantastic cleanup job. Well, how do you drink? Well, after they took the couch and all, I just brought in some things from the den so it wouldn't look too empty. And then the kitchen people said they could finish up in the morning, so I okay like an hour overtime, you know, to get it all over with. And then I just <laughs> straightened it up a bit. Mm, you wow. okay an hour's overtime. Why well, are you beginning to spend money like a wife? Oh, well, I'm sorry. I didn't think... Oh, he's kidding. Jenny, how come he's, on. Really, you have done magnificently. Really is. Just I was just you. kidding. I love it. I really do. Thank you very okay. much. All right. I have another surprise for you. Another one? Yeah. Okay. Another one day, my heart. Ta-da! That's oh, beautiful. Now, that's marvelous. Look at the table. Oh, everything. You used the new china. Uh-huh. Yeah. Here we go. And I cooked up a special dinner on your new oven. The kids were exhausted, so I fed them early and put them to bed. I figure you guys would want to be alone. You know, let's go to celebrate all the beautiful changes. Oh, well, that's very thoughtful. Now, so look what you have for a main course. Beef bourguignon. Oh, I love bourguignon. Right? Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. And for you, vegetables. And Jeff, mm -hmm. I know you like spinach salad, no, right? No, I love spinach uh -huh. salad. Come on, I think anybody, come on, come on. Anybody who's been working oh, as hard I... as you have, I think, I should be waited on, too. Isn't that right? Of course. Jennifer, that... Beef and bourbon, you know, it was really delicious. Thank you. I found the recipe in the kitchen. Well, you certainly did it well. Mm -hmm. Honey wine? Oh, you want it? Yeah, white wine. Isn't that chill? Oh, of course. Mm -hmm. Barbara! Hi! How was your day? 
Can I get you anything? No, no, just uh, just do what you're doing. Where is everybody? Well, the kids have gone to spend the night with their friend Hallie, and Barbara had a business dinner she couldn't get out of. She said sorry about the game, but she had no choice. You're kidding. No. Not tonight. Oh, tonight is poker night. Is there anything I can do? Yes, you can learn poker fast. I play poker. That's fast. Well, then, come on, let's go. Oh, I'm sorry. That wasn't an order. I mean, you probably have plans for tonight. <laughs> Not exactly. My big plans for the evening were <laughs> another coat of polish. Put that polished hand in my hand and come on. Okay. <laughs> and you don't have to worry about fixing dinner, because Sharon will have cold cuts. Look, I'll, uh, I'll leave Barbara note, okay? Okay. be a perfectionist, and now I'll bet you're grateful for it. Everything in its proper place. <laughs> you are a chip off the old block. Only it's not your block, Mother. Jenny took care of all of this. Oh, yes. Jenny. Well, I wouldn't let that bother me. When you have some time, you can rearrange the furniture the way you want it. This is the way I want. I arrange this furniture. Well, these chairs belong in the den. Yes, I like them in here. Well, if you like them in here, then I do, too. <laughs> Where's Jeff? Playing poker. Oh. Where's Jennifer? With Jeff. Oh. oh. Good thing I came. You here all alone? Jenny's doing very well, Mother. Oh, yes, Jenny. She cleans, she cooks. She plays poker. I wonder what else she does. Mother, she doesn't do that. Really? You know what I mean. She happens to be a very nice person. I've seen her, remember? Yes. She can't help it if she's built that way. She just happens to be a very sexy girl. Is anything wrong? Nothing's wrong, Mother. You can tell me. Everything's fine, believe me. I'm your mother. Mother, I recognized you the minute you walked in the door. All right. Really, everything is just fine. I've already taken a nice hot shower, and I was going to give myself a facial. You know, give myself a treat to a night alone. I understand perfectly. Good. Well, I'll just get on home then. It was very nice to see you. I'm glad I oh, caught you home. Thank you. I'll tell your father you said hello. All right, Mother. I won't tell him you forgot. Yes, Mother. I call. All right. King's up. Ace is up. Oh, boy. Uh, uh, uh. Three ten. It's about time. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Another full house. Uh -huh. Oh, no, okay, no, no, no. Yes. All right, Mother. Oh, huh? queen. I'll get some dip and chips. Yeah, I'll help you. You, uh... You seem pretty happy. Yeah, well, things are shaping up, you know. That's what I mean. Hmm? Very nice. Fantastic legs. Come on. Tell me about it. You really want to know? Yeah, I want to know. All right. First, you have to promise me one thing, though. You can't say a word of this to Sharon. I mean it. No, I mean really. I mean it. I mean, promise? Stop. All right. Let's take the other night. Yeah. We were in the dining room, say. Dining room? Oh, yeah. Haven't you ever tried the dining room? Fantastic. All right. Now, look. Of course, you understand that, that Barbara's in the room, too. Barbara's? Oh, yeah. A menage a toi. No. Menage a cinq. Five. You had two more girls come in? <laughs> now, now, 
We're sitting around the table, see? And everybody gets in to a straight back chair. Haven't you ever tried straight? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No. We're sitting in these chairs, see? Yeah. And then we all eat dinner because the girls are my two daughters, my wife and my maid, and there's nothing weird going on. Big winner! It was incredible! It was awful, Barbara. Sharon could have killed me. What are you talking about? By the end of the evening, she was eating right out of her hand. Oh, that's because I tried to lose back a little and then well, helped her clean up. Possibly. But what about David? You should have seen the oh, expression oh, on his face. Yes. He I was listen. holding a King High Strain. No, that's not what was I... bothering him. No, he no? had something else in his mind. You know what he thought? Probably. He thought that the three of us were having a little menage a trois. You know, <laughs> weird. <laughs> No, 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 no sorry. he's not kidding. I must confess I encouraged it a little bit. I was sort of putting him on, but oh, it was funny. <laughs> I bet it was a riot. Yeah, well, it was. Good night. It... Something's happened here. I think the riot's over. I'm in trouble? Uh-huh. Good night. I'm sorry. For what? I don't know, whatever it was. You really don't know, do you? No. Sometimes you are so thick. Oh, you are so insensitive. You sit around telling your wife that some man thinks you are having an affair with another girl in front of the other girl, too. Oh, what is the use? All right, I admit that I might have been a little insensitive. But I'm sorry, too. Now, doesn't that balance it out? I'm not keeping score. It's too complicated. Oh. You don't like anything about me anymore, do you? What? I love you. Now, let's be honest about it. There are certain things that you don't like about me. All right, go ahead. Just tell me what they are. Go ahead, you first. Oh, I'm not going to play that. We used to call those lemon-squeezing parties in college. I never played that kind of a game. Hey. Come on. Come on, baby. Let's go outside. It's so beautiful. Just like when we used to drive up Mulholland. You are so unromantic. Oh, oh, well, there it is. Unromantic. I, I'm unromantic, okay? What else don't you like about me, huh? Come on. What else am I? Heavy. Come on. Come oh, on. all right, okay. But wait a minute. Wait a minute. You say that I am not romantic? Well, I'm romantic. Do I or do I not cry every time we watch Random Harvest on television? Hmm? Hmm? The part where Greg Garson is standing in front of the cottage and Ronald Coleman is... Sentimental. People who cry at movies are sentimental. That's not romantic. Well, romantic, sentimental, they're very close. Maybe, but, you know, they're really not the same. Oh. Now, come on. Is that a pretty night? It is a beautiful night. We've really come a long way, lady. Yeah. You remember when we were first married? Mm -hmm. That little tiny apartment. It was just like a sauna in the summer. <laughs> and your car, it had no upholstery. Well, now, wait a minute. By the same token, we had no payments, right? No debts, no, uh, no pressure. Are you so unhappy now? No. But it's a different life, though, isn't it? I guess I'm feeling old, and that's all. Where is all the time going, Pumpkin? Seems like only yesterday. I was 20. I feel much younger than that inside. Really? Yes. On the outside, I'm pretending to be a great big person with a great big job, and I'm even somebody's mommy. But inside, you know, I feel just like a little person. Yeah, about four and a half. Really? Tell me something. What? 
What is the penalty for seducing a minor? No, never mind. I don't want to know. Hey, uh -huh. where are we going? The bedroom's upstairs. Well, the dining room is in here. Oh, Come you. On. Now, is this romantic or is this sentimental? It's both. And I love it. So I... <laughs> Larry, I don't care what happened or how it happened. All I know is that I'm supposed to have color art six weeks before press, and I don't have it, okay? Ginger, what time is that photo session? 20 minutes. Oh. Boy, you're on edge. And you look awful. Thanks. What's the matter with you? I'm swamped. I need help. Well, hire a temporary secretary until you get caught up. That's no big deal. I'm sorry. My nerves are on edge. And it isn't just the work. Is Jeff still giving you a hard time? No, he's fine. He's perfect. Jenny's taking care of everything. I'm not even needed anymore. <laughs> well, this really isn't your problem, is it? It's, it's just that when I'm at work, I'm always feeling guilty about not being with my family. And when I'm at home, I feel guilty about not being with my job. Well, maybe you have to make a choice. Listen, I've got to have a decision about your promotion. I have to get that department going. Yes, I know. And don't forget, you're filling in for me with Randy Perkins on Saturday. I've got him booked every hour with TV interviews and columnists. Boy, why would anybody want to miss a whole day with Randy Perkins, huh? Well, I have to be in New York. It's a good thing you're a fan of his. You're more his type anyway. Oh, yeah? What's his type? Under 40. So you see, Jenny. What happens is this. Everyone starts a rumor, so they panic. They get scared. Mommy, Arthur Silver pushed me off the swing today. And when I told the teacher, she didn't do anything about it. Well, honey, if he does that again, I'll tell her. Anyway, uh, the, 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 the point of it is, Jenny, you see, when people get scared, they start to sell. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, she stop. Her I did not. Yes, you did. Girl, well, oh, girls, girls, wait, wait. Now, look. What we need around here is a vacation, right? Okay. All right, fine. I want you to know that I have a room in San Diego for this coming weekend at Mission Bay. Wait, I can't yeah. go. Oh, I can't go. What do you mean you can't go? Well, Marion is in New York, and I've taken over. I'm covering for her with a client, and there's no way I can change it. I'm sorry, girls. Well, listen, why not change it to the next weekend? Hon, it is the height of the season. I had to pull every tooth I know just to get this room. And suppose Marion decides to go off again the next weekend. No. I've got to go, hon. I want I need this. Well, how's this for an idea? You go and take the kids and uh, Jenny, and I'll stay at home. You mean it? Well, you said that you've got to get away this weekend. And I understand. I think you should. You're not just being a martyr, are you? No, of course not. I'm not crazy about the whole idea, but um, I don't want to spoil it for everybody else. How about it, girls? Don't you yeah. want it? Yeah. All right, fine. I'll tell you what, though. Yeah. If you do get off early, you can join us, okay? Yeah, maybe I can. <laughs> by, by the way, uh, who is this client you're going to be babysitting for this weekend? Randy Perkins. <laughs> Randy Perkins? Randy Perkins? <laughs> Whichever one you don't want. Oh, I don't want this one. All right, we'll put the girls in there. 
Oh, what? Uh, no, pardon me. No, I said uh, the girls. That's a girl, and that's a girl, and that's a girl. Uh, that's a girl's bag, and I'll take this one, okay? Take the key. Thank you. That's 2.50. I'll sign. What room, please? 520, Hamilton. Thank you, Mrs. Hamilton. You're welcome. It's just too complicated to explain. a very good idea. Suppose we go out and have an early dinner, okay? Yay! Okay. Why don't we just get some food to go and bring it in the room? No, no, I, I don't want the smell of food all over the room. Can't we just go out and eat? I want pizza! All right, Italian food it is. I want tacos! Then Italian food it isn't. I want pizza! Girl. I want tacos! Pizza! Hey, hey, listen, I think it's <laughs> You know what I should do? I'll just run out and I'll get a pizza for Christy and tacos for Mindy. Yeah. And I'll bring them back to the house. And you'll be in order and what you want from room service. You know what I want? You want to know what I'd like? I want girls, girls, would you? Girls, 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 wait, wait. Now, you want to know what I want? I want not to have to make any more decisions today, all right? Now, you girls, you can all do whatever you'd like to do, but Daddy is going to take a nap, all right? Good night, good day, goodbye. Come on, girls. <laughs> Just visiting the sites and a couple of the pubs in Ireland with my buddy Les, okay? Ooh, that sounds terrific. Oh, yeah. Well, I think we've accomplished a great deal. Are you pleased? Oh, I'm very pleased. You know, it's a lot more fun working with you than with your boss, Joan Crawford. For... Rosalind Russell. Yeah, that's better. Yeah. Marion is a super lady. I'm really very fond of her. Yeah, but you got to admit she's just a little brittle. I've got the strangest feeling that if I just touch her, she's going to break apart in my hand. Do you think so? Mm. But uh, you wouldn't break apart, would you? No. I'd just melt. Isn't that what all the females in America would do if you were to touch them? Uh, no, I haven't gotten to all of them yet. I'm very surprised. <laughs> uh, well, I am going to get you a drink. Oh, wonderful. Well, I can't, though. I have to be leaving. I'm going to drive to San Diego tonight. Well, that's a shame, because I... Uh, I was going to tell you all about all my troubles, make you feel a little mellow and compassionate, and then I was going to attempt to seduce you. I suppose you career girls are on to that one. Oh, well, <clears throat> first of all, I'm not a career girl. I have a family. And second of all, what troubles could you possibly have? Oh. Do you really have something bothering you? Mm. I mean, I don't know if I could help, but I would be. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Now, don't, don't you tell me that you bought that, because I don't believe you. I believed you. <laughs> oh, my. Well, I must be out of practice fielding passes and recognizing lines when I hear them. I told you I'm an old married lady. Well, now, first of all, you're not old. And second of all, I think you're now handing me a line. Now, don't you tell me that guys don't come on strong with you. That must happen every day of your life. Well, sometimes, but 
I have the feeling that if I were to take these guys up on their offers, that they'd run like rabbits. I'm not running. I'm not taking you up on your offer. What offer? Oh, yeah, well, I mean, uh, uh... I can't. You can't what? You know. No, <laughs> tell me. Well, I don't, that's all. Don't what? Fool around. <laughs> really? Really. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Come back here. Let's you and I just talk about this, right? Like adults. Okay, but uh, be adults from over there. <laughs> oh, gee. Now we're really gonna be adults. Okay, now I believe you when you say you don't. Thank you. Now, I, uh, I like you, right? I don't know. Oh, take, take my word for it. I do. I like you. And you like me, right? All right, maybe. So. So, what are we waiting for? Why don't we make this a, uh, a uh, complete relationship? Are you telling me that you <clears throat> completely relate with every girl you like? Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, well, well I, I, I don't like everybody. Ah. Uh, well, I'm married, and I don't completely anything with any other man. You really, you really mean that, don't you? Yes. Oh, boy. <laughs> I don't know, that's a... Uh, well, that's, that's very... Uh, it's square. So I'm a square. No, no, I wasn't going to say that. What I meant was, I think that's very, that's very nice. You do? You really don't mind? Oh, yeah, I mind, but I still think it's very nice. So we're on some sort of intellectual level, huh? I hope your husband appreciates that. I don't know about that. I really don't know about a lot of things. But on second thought, I, I think I do know that if I stay here any longer, we will be completely relating, and I really am already related. Goodbye, coward. You don't, you, you don't have to do that. I, I can, uh, I can take no, care of the bed. That's all right. I, I don't mind. It's okay. It's okay with me. He's really. No, it's all right. <laughs> Listen. Can you turn around? Oh yeah, I wanted to tell you what really a marvelous day I had today. I mean, it was really far out. Yeah. Well, wouldn't you like a robe too? Oh no, I always wear these. Oh, I never noticed it before. Yes, you have. Uh, children, are they children asleep? Uh huh. Do you know that? All day long, people kept calling me your wife, and tonight when I was putting the kids to bed, I, I felt like their mother. Oh, well, that's uh, very interesting. Yeah, really. Uh, yeah. Uh, what are you doing? Well, I gave you a kiss. I did. No, no, I didn't. I didn't mean that. I, I, I meant why. Well, I... No, no, I, I know why. <laughs> but why? Well, I know I shouldn't have, but I wanted to. Oh. Uh, well, um, good night, Jennifer. Answer me one thing and I promise I'll leave. <sighs> All right. Do you want me? Yes. I want you in your room. Look, all day long they've been calling me Mrs. Hamilton, and I feel like Mrs. Hamilton. I cook for you, I clean for you, I even buy your underwear. Jeff, 
I love you. No. No. No, you don't love me. I mean, you think you love me, and you are in love. I mean, in essence, you are. You're, you're in, in love. You're in love with the idea no. of, of marriage and cooking and cleaning. <laughs> Nobody's in love with the idea of cooking and cleaning, not even a compulsive like me. I love you. No, you don't. No, you don't. I mean, why would you fall in love with me? I mean, you know nothing about me. Well, I think I do. I see you in all your moods. I listen to your work problems. I probably... You don't know that I'm crazy. Crazy? Yes, crazy. I mean, I mean, here I am with a terrific girl who wants to make love with me, and I'm turning her down. Now, isn't that crazy? Certainly it is. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you something else, too, and it's going to sound very, very corny. Well, I, uh, I happen to like the idea of marriage, at least our marriage. I admit that we have our problems, but we're trying to work them out. And right now, I'm sorry, just uh, a, a girl in my life would certainly complicate things for me. I mean, a, a girl, even, even one as pretty and as nice as you are. Oh, I feel awful. I feel just awful. Oh, Jennifer. <laughs> Jennifer, don't feel guilty. But that's just it. I don't feel guilty, and I should. I mean, you're two of my most favorite people. <laughs> are you trying to tell me that you feel guilty about not feeling guilty? Oh, that's silly. Come on. Come on. Come on. Go back to your room now. I, I, I know what I'm saying probably sounds like it doesn't make sense, but the fact of the matter is you have terrific legs, so just take them in there. Really? It's funny, you know. Even when I gain weight, my legs stay pretty great. Guess I'm lucky, huh? Yeah. Who is it? Barbara! Barbara! Oh, no, no, come on. No, no! Uh, uh, I'm undressed! No, I'm undressed! Uh, wait, wait, wait a minute. No, I'm not. Uh, come, coming! Coming! Barbara! Jeff! Oh! Mm -hmm. Oh, no, you don't. Come here. Come here, you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe you should go away more often. No, no, I shouldn't. I miss you. Mm, I miss you, too. Mm. That's why I finished work up early and came down here. So I was like, yeah, I wanted to surprise you. You did. You did surprise me. Yeah. Mm. How are the kids? They're fine. They're fine. Check. It's, I mean, they're okay. <laughs> okay. The kids are asleep. Jenny says everything's all right. She did. Huh? She did. Didn't I tell you everything would be okay? Oh, I am so glad that you're here. Me too. Really glad. You said that, honey. Yeah, I know. Well, it must be true. I am glad. See? Uh -huh. oh, that's for me. Tell him I'm on vacation. Oh, hello. Oh, hello, Danny. Oh. Oh. Tell him you're on vacation. Will you shh? Just quiet, you. Mm. Quiet. Mm. What is it, Danny? What? Well, Danny, the reason you can't find me is I'm trying to hide from you. <laughs> come on now, come on, come on. What is he? Oh, you shh, 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 shh. What do you want? Oh, no. Oh, no. Danny, I... All right. All right, okay. Fine, fine, yes, yes. I'll meet you there. Have a nice flight. Bye bye. What? What is it? Well, what is it? Just, well, hon, 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 all right. You know the new stock issue that's coming out on Monday. Mm. Well, right. Danny is is flying into uh, to Los Angeles now because he wants to be here when it breaks. So that means that I'm going to have to drive all the way up to International Airport and pick him up tonight. Why? Hon, I cannot help it. We're going to have to work in the office all day tomorrow so that we're ready for Monday. You're kidding. I'm not. I can't help it, hon, and I have no choice. But this is our vacation. You were just exhausted and the phone rings and now you're running out to the airport without even an argument. Oh, I'm having an argument with you. That's not fair. Oh, come on. It's not the end of the world. You're just upset. You noticed? You should be, too. All right, I'm upset, okay? Not at me. You should be upset at your office. My office? Why should I be upset at my office? Because it'll make me feel better. Barbara, come on. What are you doing? Will you just stay here, please, and enjoy the children and have a vacation? You need a vacation. I need more than that. Well, now, what is that supposed to mean? No, no, please, don't bother. Don't, don't tell me. I have enough in my mind as it is. Barbara. Can't you think of this as one of life's little ironies? Well, can't you smile? Can't you frown? Can't you say goodbye? And you can't say goodbye? 
Goodbye. Anything wrong? Oh, no. Our husband's just gone off to L.A., that's all. Oh. Well, what do we do for the evening? Well, what do you say? We order up a bottle of wine and get smashed. I have an idea. We could play some cards. Terrific. I take a drive for two and a half hours through weekend traffic and then sit in an ugly room with another girl and play cards. Now, wait a minute. You've got to tell me how it went with Randy Perkins. I mean, tell me what really happened. Well, I'm sorry to say, I think I made a terrible mistake. You did? With Randy Perkins? Oh, tell me about it. I walked out on him. Oh. Shut up and deal. Sarah Robin. Her mommy and daddy are divorced. Oh. So one day she goes with one, and one day she goes with the other one. Oh, that's too bad for Sarah Robin. Uh-uh. It's super for her. Why? She gets stuff from both her parents. You mean presents? Yeah. Oh, I see. See? They compete. Mm -hmm. Girl, that's what Joe I think you should go to your room now and unpack your things. Bye-bye, oh, Daddy. Goodbye, my daughters. I'll see you in a little while. Okay. Does anybody want something to eat? No, thank you. I'm starving. Oh, yes. He's had no one to wait on him for several days, and he probably hasn't had a thing to eat. <laughs> it sort of feels like I'm not being spoken to by you either. Here, I think you're going to like it on a couch tonight. Thank you. Here, I'll fix the couch for you. No, thank you. Thank you. I can put myself to bed on the couch. Uh -huh. what you're doing, where you're going? I'm leaving. Why? You can't. What's wrong? In order, because, yes, I can, and none of your business. Well, you're not going anywhere. You're yelling at me. Well, get used to it. Husbands yell. You're not my husband. Look, you were right about me from the beginning. You spotted what I was, a silly kid who believes in fairy tales. One of those fairy tales was I wanted to be married. I was actually in love with the idea. But if you pointed out to me at Mission Bay, you are not my husband. Those are not my kids. So this whole thing is still a fairy tale, and I am too old for fairy tales. Besides, I wanted to help you two, and now you aren't even talking to each other. If I'm going to be involved in a hassle, it's going to be my hassle with my own husband. Jennifer? What? You through? Yeah. Yeah, I think I am. All right, come here. Sit down. Come on. Now, Jennifer, in the last 24 hours, I've been doing an awful lot of thinking since Mission Bay, and I made a few decisions, and I really think you ought to hear them because, well, some of them involve you. Hey, what's up? Or is it down? I don't know. Yes, you do. Well, tonight we're supposed to renew our little contract with Jennifer, and as much as I'd like not to renew, I can't. Why not? Now Jeff likes it this way. You see, it's too late. He doesn't want to go back to the way we were living before. So I've only got really one option on it, and that is if Jeff says forget the whole thing. 
But I don't think he's going to say, forget the whole thing. So I don't know what to do. Well, the first thing for you to do is to go home. Yeah. See, any solutions your old Auntie Mame here would come up with would only be completely self-serving. I want you as involved here as I can get you. Oh, I know that. Thank you. That's good for the ego. <laughs> Bye-bye. Go home and take care of the rest of you. Okay. Well, as we are all aware, tonight our contract with Jenny is up. And we all have the option to renew it if we wish to, or not renew it if we uh, wish not to. Uh, anyway, I, as the man of the family, have reached my own conclusion. I don't want a hired wife. I want a real one. And I don't want two half-wives. I want a whole one. So, I wish not to exercise the option to pick up Jenny's contract. That's what I wish not to do. However, Jenny? Jenny, I have a very, uh, I have a very important question that I want to ask you, and I don't want you to answer me right away. Uh, I, I just want you to think about this, because it, it's a very important decision on your part. Now, um, if I get a divorce, will you marry me? Yes. No, don't answer right now. I want to. Well, then say no! What's going on? Nothing! Uh, it's, it, uh, it's just that we were supposed to... It, well, it didn't work out, so forget about it, all right? Please, someone tell me what's going on! Nothing is going on! I just, I... Had an idea yesterday, that's all. I just thought if I pretended to ask her to marry me, you would understand that I only want one wife. And I want you to be that one. And she was supposed to take the time to think about it. And in the meantime, you were supposed to say you wanted me back. Well, it didn't work. So forget about it. I mean, just, you know, forget it. Well, I'm sorry, but I didn't know my lines. Now, I think that is one of the dumbest, silliest meanest plans you ever had. Well, I didn't hear you coming up with the plan. At least I'm trying. She's the one who double-crossed me. I double-crossed him. Look, all I want is a wife. It doesn't matter who, does it? Oh! Oh! Tell her. Tell her what? Tell her. Tell her I don't want you. I want her. Tell her yourself! Listen! I don't want you either! What? What in the world is going on around here? I just said yes to scare him. Make me scared. Look, this is not a game. This is our marriage. Exactly. Now maybe you'll understand. That's right. <laughs> oh. oh. Oh, oh, I see. Well, getting it all together, are you girls, huh? Sisters, revolution, woman's lib. Is that it? No. You came to me with this sophomoric idea. And I agreed to help because I wanted you two to work things out. Well, it is not working out. You are still playing games with each other. I thought I was to blame, but I'm not. You accuse me of, of living in a fairy tale. Let me tell you something. Your marriage is something out of a fairy tale. Grim! Oh, now, wait just one second. Don't start making bad jokes about our marriage. Yes, our marriage is no worse than anybody. Uh -huh. Oh, that's encouraging. Then maybe all marriages are this rotten. I'm glad I learned this way. Now, look, you've hit us at a bad time, and that's all. We had many happy years together until she got that job. You were happy. She was miserable. I wasn't miserable. I was frustrated. Okay? Well, that's normal. So I went out and took care of that. But this is my fault, not his. Well, thank you very much. Well, if I'm going to be frustrated and abnormally normal, what do I need to be married for? I'm already like that. When I was single, before I knew you two, at least there was no fighting in my life. Fighting's not the worst thing that can happen in a marriage. No, losing's not too good, though. Be serious. No, I'm being serious. I don't like to lose. But come on, Jennifer, face it. I mean, there are many happy times. And then the kids. Oh, and you have to put up with things. Oh, marriage is putting up with things? Well, mm -hmm. I'm going to pack my things and get out of here. I hope you two can get things together. Two is company, and three in a marriage is definitely a crowd. Jennifer, I want to let you know that we are both very grateful to you. Yes, you're wonderful. Yeah, you're going to make somebody a heck of a wife, Jennifer. Honey, no threats. Just to say goodbye. Uh, well, uh, goodbye. I'm glad you were here. I'm going to miss you, too. I'd better get out of here. <laughs> hey, look at me. I used to suffer from going away complexes, and now I can just walk right out of here. 
I must be getting better, huh? He's really leaving. Mm -hmm. Don't panic, though. You'll be able to handle it. I'm not panicking. Oh, uh, that's right. You can take care of yourself, can't you? Yes, I can. But I don't intend to all of the time. I'm glad to know that I can, however. It helps my self-image. Your self-image? Well, you've been around Jennifer for too long. You know, through all that talk about marriage, there was one word that was never brought up. Love. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I love you. I need you. I really do. You're not going to start crying now, are you? <laughs> I don't think so. Oh. And I love you, too. But why do I love you most when you're just a helpless, crying female? Because of your upbringing. Oh? Yes. You're a victim of society. Yeah, well, maybe I could change some of my ways. Yes, yeah, like spending less time at the office, spending more hours at home, and sharing more of the responsibility around the house. Well, one of those, maybe. I'm willing to compromise, too. Then I will try. Hey. How about quitting your job? I didn't say surrender. I said compromise. Now, I'm, I'm, I've told Mary that I don't want to take that promotion. I'm going to get shorter hours for myself, and I intend to not spend so much time when I'm home talking about all my problems. It's a deal. Okay. Shall we draw up a contract? No. No more contracts. Okay. But, you know, the idea of two wives is a good idea. Now, where'd we mess it up? We're very conventional people. Now, we have to go about solving our problems in a much more conventional way. Mm. First of all, we've got to get a maid. But a maid maid. Hey, wait a minute. I've got a good idea. How about a houseboy? Not in a million years. Even if he had great legs? Why well, if he has great legs? You want to see great legs? Yes. I'll show you great legs. Oh, good. Uh, no, 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 no. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. All right. I thought you were going to see great legs. I am going to see great legs. In the dining room? In the dining room. <laughs> <laughs> you really like it here, don't you? Yeah, well, it's closer. Mm, come here, you. Hey, why don't we sell the bedroom? Hey, why don't we enlarge the dining room? <laughs> hey, why don't we shut up? Yeah. Uh...